guys so today I've got a little something different for you it's probably one of the most disturbing and the saddest explorers I've ever been on no what is up guys none of that fooling around fun stuff this is a really serious explorer um, pretty sad what we discovered I'm here with Zenny with Zay really makes you think but anyways guys let's check it out Alright guys, so we're starting off this video in the living room and as you can see this is a time capsule. Everything is left behind. Things are a bit of a mess. There are squirrels in here. When we came up to this place we knew there was something special about it. We didn't realize what we were going to find. It's pretty disturbing, pretty sad, but it's part of the story of life and we really wanted to show you guys this. So as you can see, well probably there's a lot of yarn in these cabinets. The woman that lived here was an avid knitter and this is actually one of her pieces right there on the wall. Pretty, pretty awesome. Very talented woman. And like everything is still here, still set up. Guys, I got to be careful how I film this too because I got to protect this house. This is just such a crazy, crazy house. You know, everything is here still and if you look over here, this would have been her chair. She would have sat here playing her Sudoku puzzle, watching the television. You still got magazines all over. And dates on this place, the last thing I could see was from 2018. So look at this, guys. You've got cabinets full of just personal treasures. All these collectibles from over the years. Beautiful Royal Daltons in here. Like this place is just incredible. It's also incredibly sad. This is all real silver right there, guys. It's a bit tarnished, a bit of polish. It would clean it right up. Just beautiful stuff. We got Zay over there. Here's another cabinet, guys. Just full of collectibles. I open this up so you can have a little bit of a view unhindered by the reflection. All this amazing collectibles, lots of Christmas items. And you got a little piggy right there. Now, as you can see, this place is a bit frigged up. There's squirrels that are living in here. I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but there definitely are. We've got a nice spoon collection right here. That was a thing at one time. My grandmother had a very extensive spoon collection before she passed. And I don't know if you can hear the beeping in the background, but there is 13 unread messages. The power is still on in here, guys. Now it is a bit of a mess. The calendar here is August 2018. So we're going to go downstairs to the basement before we move on. And here's another piece of the work that the woman who lived here had created. Just very talented. I can hear squirrels running through the walls. So back here, guys, this is just the basement. No, well, this is part of the basement. But this is like a storage area, as you can see. There's a freezer back there running. I'm not going to bother opening it because who knows what's in there. Like I said, the last days from 2018, it's 2020. There's a good chance whatever's in there is rather disgusting. So. Close that up. Now, guys. Look at this full bar 
still set up and super retro. Just incredible. All the booze. And you'll notice everything's kind of got a coating and stuff on it. My belief is that that's nicotine uh, as the people that, well, the woman that lived here was a smoker. But look at this retro bar sign. And guys, as I'm here, I'm hearing squirrels running through the air, du air ducts. Look at this scale. And you got peanuts still inside, as well as champagne bottles. Like everything is just set up, but you can clearly see that it is abandoned. You know, over here on the floor, there's water all over the floor getting in. Stacks and stacks of books and just random bits. I gotta be careful because there is names everywhere and I do not want to give this place away at all. Look at that. Nice wood stove. This was a definitely an entertainer's basement. You, know, you got a light over here over top of a table. I could see the you know the old gal and her friends sitting down here playing cards, maybe even doing some knitting. And look at this. Now her husband was an avid hunter and fisherman. I don't really know too much about the family history. I am gonna try to find what I can, guys. Obviously, all that information is going to be on my blog. But look at, here's some fish that probably were caught. Yeah, lake trout, 12 and three quarter pounds, July 27, 1966. And then this one over here. Pickerel, eight and a half pounds, November 14, 1967. Well, these are some old fish up there. Oops. Look back here, for you to pee. Jeez, guys, I keep getting creeped out by all these friggin' squirrels. Oh, look at this bathroom, though. Wow. Save water, shower with a friend. So they were party people. Oh, look at the shower curtain matches the wallpaper. There's a shower, more yarn. So, as I was saying, guys, the woman that lived here, she was a feisty lady. She had lots of hobbies, including knitting and all sorts of stuff. Just unreal. <laughs> Guys, we're going upstairs and this is why I'm going to show you something that you've probably never seen before in a video. I've never come across it. I've always been worried about something like this happening um, and then it did. When we walked in here, we took a few steps in the door and we saw this on the ground. Now for those who can't figure that, <clears throat> excuse me, figure out what that is, that is a body stain. And you can see right there, there's a walker. So. Unfortunately, it seems that the woman who had lived here had taken a bad fall, landed on the floor, <clears throat> and that's where she expired, unfortunately. Um, it's extremely, extremely sad to us. It took us a good 20 minutes to uh, decide what we're going to do here. And, um, you know, despite it feeling weird, we figured we still need to tell the story because this is a good reminder to everybody that you need to check on your loved ones. It seemed this woman had passed and was laying here for God knows how long before she was found. So check in on your loved ones, guys. It's really creepy and sad. So I'm just trying not to step on where she was. So this would be her bedroom. And it looks like someone had come in. The family had come in at one point and tried to go through her stuff. But I think it just would have been too difficult with that stain there on the floor. You know, look at you got red boas, you've got all sorts of fashion, costume, jewelry stuff, you know, kind of everywhere. It's just unbelievable. Now, I do know she did have a husband, and judging from what I've seen thus far, is that he passed away earlier than she did quite a while, as there seems to be mostly women's stuff in here. No real sign of her husband aside from some of the trophies. But look at the size of this closet, guys. And you can see very, very bright colors and everything. 
it tells you that she was just a really spontaneous and outgoing and spunky old bird now moving on to the library and look at this guys books upon books everywhere like of any kind there's a lot of murder mystery cookbooks you know it's just so much stuff in this place and so as we move on guys there's the hallway and that's where she passed right there you know right beside the cane which is really sad to see and here's another bedroom now, i'm not sure but this one also it could be a spare bedroom but it has a lot of stuff in it There's a bit of a perfume smell in here too, guys, which is kind of weird. But look at, you've got a closet and it's full of ribbons at the top and then just tons and tons of clothing. An old radio clock there on the side table. But again, you'll notice the mirror has a bit of a, you know, kind of a film over it and that's what I believe is from smoking in the house and look at cobwebs all along here this house is really big and I feel like this part was an extension or a sorry an addition put on a later date got a bedroom back here this would be a gun case and it seems that the guns someone has come in here and taken all the guns. Well, there's another gun case right there. Oh my God, there's even more back here. So someone has come in and stolen all the gun case, or the guns, and it looks like there was handguns and rifles. Here's some hunting gear. Hunting and camping looks like stuff up there. Wow. Lots of rifle holders or carriers, cases, whatever. And then you got holsters. Look at this baseball. I have no idea who that is, but it looks like a very old ball that's been laminated to preserve the uh, signatures. Wow. Such an interesting place. And we've got another room over here, guys. Whoa. So this would have been her sewing room. Holy crap. Like, I can barely get in the door. There's just so much yarn and various fabrics. Like, even the back closet is just jammed. Like, you can't even really walk around in here without stepping on stuff. You got a nice sewing station right there. Boxes and boxes of yarn and other fabrics. Sorry guys, the door's a little tight to get through there. Well, this is 100% a time capsule and like I said guys, I've never seen this before. This has always been one of my biggest fears and it took us a long time to get in to actually figure out what we're gonna do here. So I'm just gonna go past her and into this be the bathroom. And look at all of her stuff is still set up on the counter just so sad you know it makes you really think guys all it takes is just a phone call to check in on the people that you love that you know that you know are living alone and don't limit it to just the people that you love think about the other old person who lives down the street if you haven't seen him in a while definitely check in because this is so sad All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for this location. It's a pretty sad place. It's definitely epic, but at the same time, it's very, very sad. It was disturbing to walk in and see that on the floor. Like I said, Zenning Mize and I had a very difficult time deciding what we were gonna do here, if we were just gonna leave or if we were going to explore it. We decided in the end 
the story needed to be told regardless. It's very interesting, but at the same time, it should serve as a reminder to everybody. Check in on your loved ones, check in on the ones that are alone because you do not want this happening to anybody else. But anyways, guys, tell me what you think in the comments down below, negative or positive. I appreciate all the feedback. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe, smash the like button, hit the bell, make sure notifications are turned on. And remember guys, always come back because Ritter Miter always has that epic shit. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.